Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. Now, here is Harden. Here's George. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. Got to be careful putting up a shot around Anthony Davis. Bucket is good. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Now, here is Harden. Zubats, that's good. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. To the middle. Here's Davis. And the rejection by Zubats. Harden with it. He's picked up by Russell. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. To the inside. Here's Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. All the talk is about Harden scoring, but I tell you what, he can dish that rock too. Again, the Clippers. Not the best of shot selection there, but you know what? You do not look a gift horse in the mouth. Out left to the wing. Here's Reeves. Back to LeBron. Down low. Just fine to shoot. Reeves can't hit. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. The Lakers making a switch here. Here now, the Clippers. Big run right now going for them, 11-2. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The drive by James. Here's Reeves. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron doing what he does best, creating four and elevating others. Pass to man. Outside, George. Harden scanning the floor. Outside for George. George double teamed. Here's Mann. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Lakers trailed by six. Nice shot by James. And once James gets the ball near the rim, just let him go to work because he knows what he's doing down there. Pass to Mann. Takes the three. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Davis sets a screen. And it's Davis with the jam. Good positioning that time from AD. Working the pick and roll beautifully. Screen by Zubac. Here's Mann. And again, it's the Clippers missing. The Lakers trade. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. Here's Reeves. Nice move. Boom, he changes it straight down. My goodness. 
Yes, that was absolutely filthy. Ugh, nasty. This building is stunned. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Boy, I'd love to get a replay on that one. Let's keep it handy so we can see it again. Here's Harden after the basket by the Lakers. Man can't hit. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. Here's Reeves. He's got five. Here's Vincent. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Here's Harden, and Harden hit the stop. An aggressive move from Harden at the hoop. Really good to see him take it to the defense like that. And the jam by Harden. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What, you, you mean the throw down at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas, I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Pass to Reeves. Just five on the clock. And the rejection by Harden. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Coming out of the floor for your Lakers. Number 28. Clippers leading by four. And as James Harden has gotten older, Clark, he's made it clear he wants to contend for title. And that's a typical progression for a player. You can't blame him. I mean, he's done just about everything you can do individually. He's aware of the fact that a championship will add to his career immeasurably. AD just shoving past the inside contact that time. Powerful move getting it done. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Here's Mann. Screen by Zubox. The Clippers need to get off a shot. And Davis sends it back. Out of bounds, Clippers ball as the Clippers keep possession. Two on the clock. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by two. Let's it go from deep. Can't get the tip in. Pushing it up. Pass to man. And the Clippers miss again. Well, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up the three-pointers, but not much to show for it. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. And he makes that one. Davis playing big. Love to see that. Creating extra scoring opportunities as a result. Back to Harden. Screen by Zubac. A three from Leonard. And the three ball is good. And the Clippers lead by three. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Number 10, Max Christie. trail by three lets a floater go Russell no good to the paint here's Powell the kick out to Westbrook pass to Tucker for the three and it's LeBron James with the rebound hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down no defender in sight 
You know, Wood is a really good two-way player, and he does a nice job sniffing out opportunities to jump into the passing lane for steals. Here's Plumley. Rebound the Lakers. Outside Russell. Latrey hits the three-point pop. And you know, this has become a real weapon for Russell now, and it's because he's worked hard on this shot. Pass to Powell. It's stolen. Here we go, all alone. LeBron outside. Here's Christie. Fires from deep. A three-pointer is right on target. And it's a five-point Laker lead. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave over. Seems effortless for George, that quick release of his. James outside. They set the screen. Back to Russell. That three off the mark. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter. In the corner, it's Plumley. Back to Powell. Outside, George. Shot clock at six. Inside, Plumley. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Plumley's got it all tied up now for the Clippers. Here's James. An easy two points on the lane. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Here's George. The kick out to Westbrook. To the paint. Here's Tucker. Outside, George. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Boy, good stick to itiveness there from George. Sticks with the shot despite the foul that he gets while in the air. This is his first free throw of the game. And he makes both free throws. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Lakers. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. And we've got more. 25. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. From the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time, and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin, I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. Stolen by Tucker. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, he makes sure to find you. He's a selfless distributor. Part last season, the Lakers making major trades, shaking up the roster, deforming their team. Yeah, you know, Kevin, they had four players left from opening night. That was it. Three major trades bringing in new talent. And that makes it difficult to find cohesion. So give L.A. a lot of credit for making that playoff run. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside, and D'Angelo will get free throws. And one thing you respect about Russell, his ability to get the rock in the hoop. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he puts he puts points on the board in bunches. No matter what uniform he's wearing, this guy is a legitimate lethal scorer. To the inside. Here's Wood. Oh, the jam by Wood. 
Showtime, Christian Wood putting down the hammer. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Humbly with the screen. Here's Westbrook driving in. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Pass to Christie. Fires for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Christie's got the lead up to seven now for the Lakers. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. The kick out to Westbrook. Hayes with the steal. James looking it over. Russell with a wide open look. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Shot to stop the run. Oh! Here's Westbrook. Outside for George. Here's Tucker. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Lakers leading by seven. Here's James. Pass to Christie. Russell with it. And they double up Russell. Here's Christie. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move. And he's got a chance for one more at the line. Defensive it's going to be on Mason Plum. And a closer look here at the hustle stats That's for the Lakers. Perfect. They are committed to running the floor in this one, relying on their speed to get a lot of points off the fast break. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Yeah, you know, Tucker's a little undersized, but he makes up for it with leaping ability and reach. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And there's the foul. We'll go on P.J. Tucker. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, he's clearly struggling here with the foul. Still early. And just one more will put him over the limit. Pass to Russell. Trying to get open is Davis. Russell with the bucket. And it's seven points for D'Angelo Russell. Simply found the open man there because he read the defense. Well done by Davis to the wing right side back to Highland now here's Tucker a three pointer no good and the whistle blows it's going to be on Davis that's foul number two for him yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Here's Powell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And with the big collisions we see in the paint, and Greg, there are some. Some have argued for changing the chart rule. Did you see that? And you know, there's talk of extending the restricted area. I've even heard some say ban charges by help defenders. I like the former idea. Uh, it seems less extreme. Usually, free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. To the middle. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. One goes on Wood. So hard to guard, really, without fouling. Leonard is an expert at forcing the issue and getting the call. And the Lakers making a change here. In court for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Is that still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. the history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. And again it's the Clippers missing. Lakers leading by eight. Pass to Hachimura. Down low. And here is Davis. Five points in the game. Six on the shot clock. Tries again. Davis. It's hauled in by Zubats. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that. And 
And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. It's good. Reeves has got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And finished off by Anthony Davis. Now, that's one that'll stay with us for a while. I mean, Davis, one of those guys that can really electrify a crowd, no matter what building he's in. Kicks it out to Leonard. Here's Mann. No scoring in this one. Zubats. This is the baby hook. Pass to Reeves. From outside the arc, it's held in by Zubats. Clippers trail by 12. Inside. Kicks it out to Harden. Hangs in the air. And Davis sends it back. It's three on three on the fast break. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know Clark, when he's 100%, Anthony Davis, one of the premier big men in the game. Hey, I would take that qualifier off of it, Kevin. How about just one of the best players, period? He can pick and pop, he can pick and roll, he can post up. He can do everything offensively and defensively. He's unique as a rim protector with the ability to defend on the perimeter, too. Pass to Reeves. Benson with it. Up top for Vanderbilt. Back to Vincent. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Lakers lead by 16. Well, you got to put a body on Davis when he goes up in the air, because if you don't, it's too late. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Kicks it out to Leonard. Screen by Zubac. Here's Harden. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Boy, I love watching Harden pat the rock. Has an unlimited number of moves to choose from. Endless. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Two minutes. Here's man. And there's the try. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Have a look at the, ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. It's good on the putback. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip-in. But that's the way to go if you've got good position. Here's man. There's the three. And he's good on the three ball. Man's got five points in the quarter. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Here's Reeves. He's got seven. Here's Vincent. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Here's Harden. No good with the layup. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. To the paint. Here's Vanderbilt. You know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Harden's got 13. Man, it's fun watching Harden use the pick and roll to his advantage, getting space off the screen and letting it fly with ease. Here's Vincent, and he uses the glass on the lane. Vincent's got his first points of the game. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Pass to man from downtown. 
Rebounded by the Lakers. Outside, Davis. Hachimura. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. What a defensive effort they put on Kawhi Leonard. It's rare to see him have the kind of trouble he's had tonight. And we'll be right back after this. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Stolen by Harden. And now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Outside, James. It's deflected. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Tice. Here's James, blocked again. An elite defender, Leonard is terrific at going after the block. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Clippers. It's a 13-point game. Pass to man. A three ball. The shot, no good. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. LeBron galloping to the rack to the inside and finished off by Wood. That's an example of a guy who has really figured out his game. Wood imposing his will at the rim. In the corner, Harden. Pass to Coffey. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Coffey's got his first three points of the game. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. A signature slam from the big fella. We've seen a few of those before. And load management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. It's harder to build chemistry when guys are out, but it's all about staying healthy for the postseason. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Spencer Dinwiddie has talked about buying into his role. He says you have to have confidence that's borderline irrational, but a perspective that's very realistic. You've got to know who you are. Kevin, he adds that he's not attempting to be a Mount Rushmore type guy, but a talented player who can help a winning team. That's a good perspective, David. Thanks for the story. If you want to know how clever Harden is as a player, just take a look at his one-on-one -on -one game, the way he can pretty much beat any defender. Quite impressive. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but it certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Tucker a screen. It's Powell on the wing. Tucker a screen. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And converted more than four out of every five free throw attempts last year. So just solid at the line. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. Pass to Wood from the arc. And another three for the Lakers. For a big, Wood can really knock it down from out there. He'll stretch the floor any chance he gets. Here's Tucker. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. And the three off target. Pass to Christie. Now, here is Russell. And they double up Russell. Here's Christie. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. 
Westbrook with it. From deep, George. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. George has got 12. Smooth and consistent. That's how I describe George's three point shooting. Russell looking around. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Oh, trying for it. Back to Russell. Three pointer. That one's not going to go. Clippers trail by 15. And an intentional foul right there. His third personal foul. Third team foul. Cuts off the pass. Just waiting for a chance to make a play. And when the pass was made, he's all over it. Just a fantastic steal. Good on the shot. Benign contact like that, not going to do anything to disrupt George's focus. Wow, the athleticism of LeBron James. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Westbrook with it. He's picked up by Russell. Lakers leading by 15. Here's James, and James throws it down. Never gets old seeing LeBron explode off the floor like that. Pass to Tice. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Snatched away. Back to James. Rebounded by Tucker. Clippers trail by 17. And you know, Clark, it, it wasn't an easy first few years in the league for Christian Wood. You know, sometimes the hard road is the more productive road for some guys. You know, he played for five different teams in his first four seasons, Greg, but in his fifth year, he found his group. And sometimes it takes a little longer for the big guys to find their way. It's Westbrook with the drive. That's his first personal foul. The fourth team foul. Outside, George. Pass to Tice. George with the ball. Tucker a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. And George with the stuff. There is no slowing down Paul George. A volcanic eruption from PG tonight. Outside, Russell. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Hey, guys. Point of emphasis for the lead is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call them. George from deep three-point land. A rebound by the Lakers. They led by as many as 18 points. Here's Reeves. Off target from outside. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Clippers. Down by 15. Three-pointer on the way. Sinks the three-pointer. Westbrook's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now Vincent launches a three. That one misses. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Pass to Powell. Here's Tice. That one doesn't go. Lakers leading by 12. Here's Davis. And the shot is good. Davis has got 16 points. Watching Davis do work like this is special. And here's Tice. Back to Westbrook. It's stolen by Davis. Loads it up for Davis. Stolen by Tucker. It's stolen. 
Here's Hachimura. Vincent. The tip in on the offensive rebound. And the Lakers lead by 16. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle steps for the Lakers? Really a great job in this one. Forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined. Making ball handlers very uncomfortable. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a facial. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg, yeah. Showing off the bunny. He's a highlight reel, always on the launch pad. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in budgets. Pass to George. And here's Westbrook from the arc. And Davis pulls it down. Lakers lead by 16. To the middle. Stolen by Tucker. Now the Clippers moving it up. Now Tice. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. Here's Tucker. And again, it's the Clippers missing. So it's the Lakers now. They lead by 14. And now we've got the intentional five. And the Clippers making a change here. And the Clippers call time here. Substitution on court. 43 seconds left in the third. Right side Davis. Pass to Vincent. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Vincent's got four points in the quarter. You got to do more than that to keep the ball out of his hands down low. Exactly. I mean, deny him the ball in the first place. Don't let him get it. Number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. Guys, it's hard to shake Harden off his game. He's so strong and skilled. He keeps his balance right where he needs it. They set the pick. Outside Leonard. With one on the clock. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they're... It's time. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Clippers trail by 12. And here's Harden. Driving inside. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. You know, Harden is so hard to deal with when he drives because you know he's looking to draw the foul and trying to defend him without fouling is a tall task. Yeah, excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Back to Harden. Could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And it's almost impossible to stay down on hard and shot fake. I mean, he's effective at getting defenders in the air, and when that happens, you're at his mercy. The Lakers making a switch here. Lakers leading by 10. Davis sets a screen. Here's Reeves. Down low. And Davis pulls it down. All of the dominant dunkers in the league. Davis can put on the show in there. Here's Coffee. And Davis sends it back. Pass to Hachimura.
the Clippers grab the miss. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Back to Harden. Six to shoot. Outside Leonard. Pass to man. And again, it's the Clippers missing. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Here's Hachimura. It's hauled in by Zubats. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And that one misses. At the line for Los Angeles, Gabe Benson. Lakers leading by 12. Pass to Davis. Shoots from 14. That one off the back iron and out. Now, here's Zubox. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Kicks it out to Leonard. A second chance effort. And he hits the jump shot. Nine point points for Kawhi Leonard. Oh, getting rid of it in a hurry. Nice quick release that time. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. I wish I could see why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Now we'll do the lineup. You're a Pass to Zubat. Number 10. Max. On the wing, Harden. Back to Zubat. Gets it down to single digits. Yes, He's conniving, creating, pacing, spacing, all of that on display. Incredible in the pick and roll. Clippers trail by eight, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will return possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Pass to Harden. You know, Harden will do that every chance he gets. He cleverly goes into the defender looking for the contact to draw the foul, and nobody does it better. At the line for the Clippers, James Harden. So he gets them both. Lakers lead by six, and he commits the intentional foul. And the Clippers call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyron Lou talking with his team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? Thank you, David. Pass to James. And James throws it down. Really a smart look that time by Wood, giving the ball up to his wide-open teammate. Ties, no good. The Lakers in the lead. The drive by James. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. And that'll be his third foul so far. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Here's James. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stop. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Here's Westbrook. And a miss there off the inbound. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. That puts them over the foul limit with plenty of time left. They're going to have to be cautious now. 
He throw good, Russell. Guys, it's always good to see a young player start to mature in front of our eyes, and Russell has been that kind of guy. He's done a great job figuring out how to become a better leader. Screen by Tice for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Tice has got nine points here in the second half. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Russell lets on. Westbrook with the steal. Now the Clippers moving it up. The three from George. The rebound by the Lakers. James with it. Westbrook picks him up. Fires the three. No good from LeBron. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Pass to Tice. Outside for George. Screen by Tice. Lock at six. Back to Powell. It's George on the wing. And for Tice, he gets it there. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off his shot before a second violation. Lakers leading by nine. Outside, James. Here's Wood. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Tremendous production from Wood tonight. When he gets enough touches, you can expect big numbers. Pass to Tice. Outside, George. It's rebounded by Hayes. Now Russell. Back to James. To the inside. Here's Hayes. And he banks in the layup. Setting the table for his teammates, James. Enjoy sharing and passing the ball and getting others involved, I think, more than any other aspect of his game. And the Clippers call time here. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Clippers trail by 13. To the paint. Clippers moving the ball around. Back to Powell. And James picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Back to his second person foul. The fourth team foul. Now here's George. Pass to Tice. And Leonard has it in the corner. Shot clock at five. And here's George. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Lakers ball. Now into the lineup, your Lakers. Number two. Lakers leading by 13. And Russell hits it to go. 14. 17 points for D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Outside for George. And the Clippers miss again. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 12-3 run. As to Russell. No one near him. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Lakers lead by 17. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Great, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. That's what they've got him out there for, fellas. A flawless finish on the alley. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in. What a circus move. Mm, so smooth. He could have messed that up trying for a big slam. Nice work going to the layup. Yeah, he's been hooping, but the rest of the team, not so much. A three, tips it, and it's Russell with that extra effort. Russell's got six points in the quarter. 
You know, guys, whenever Russell attacks second chance opportunities like that, it's a big bonus. Here's Tice. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. And Davis throws it down. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Here's Leonard. Anthony Davis with the rebound. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Winning in strong fashion. A relentless effort notches a W for the Lakers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Davis. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continued to put it to him. Harden inside the three-point line, and the Clippers miss again. Launches it. And LeBron James good for three. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Up top, Russell. LeBron outside. And they double up James. Let's the three fly. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. 